Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about the beam deflection. And uh, we're going to use the uh, ETAP to compute for the uh, elastic beam deflection. And we will use that result to compute for the short term and long term deflection of the beam um, by using the hand calculation in, in Excel. And this is the model that uh, I'm going to use in this video and we will check this uh, beam okay well, before we start please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button and if you like this video please for the thumb up as well i already run the structural design of um this model so now we can show the result so we have the dead load uh combination which uh uh, is the sum of the cervix and the superimposed dead load. Uh, and we can right click on the beam and we can see the result here. So this is the uh, uh, elastic beam deflection for the uh, total of the dead load. And this is for the light load. Uh, next, we need to run the concrete design. So we can check the preferences for the concrete design here. I will keep it like this and we can click on uh, design and we will see the result here. This is the um, uh, total longitudinal reinforced uh, thing. And we go going to use this Excel. So we have two parts. So the first part here is the uh, reinforcement and the next part here we, is the deflection of the beam. So before we go to the deflection of the beam, we need to import the reinforcement here. And uh, I want to remind you that the stir up here will not affect the deflection here, but uh, we will import it anyway. So uh, you uh, can use the Excel here by yourself. And if you want this Excel, you can uh, check the link in the description. Uh, you can download it from there. Okay, so first we need to check the uh, property of the beam. So we have the side of the beam here. We have the um, uh, strength of the rebar and the strength of the concrete. And now we can import the uh, required longitudinal rebar in here. So first I will import the side. And uh, sorry. And for the middle span. And you can check the rebar here. So uh, you can adjust the size of the rebar uh, as well. And uh, we use 25. So uh, this is only an example, but uh, you have to adjust it uh, for your own uh, case. And next we can import the shear and the torsion or shear plus torsion as well. So I will show the torsion first. We can import in the torsion here. And next shear. And last one here is the shear plot auction. And uh, you can check the ratio here. So uh, now it is okay, so I keep it like this. But uh, maybe we can adjust the leg here. Because uh, we have the size 400 and we use for uh, a main rebar. So we can use uh, for leg stirrup. 
and next one we can import the deflection so we can show the result uh, of the bending first and then right click on the beam and we, ha and we can uh, use this result and the bending moment as well so first we can check the beam type here for this case we use the continuous because we have another span but if there is only a single span we can use the sample uh, type here and for the dead load here we I will input this value and I think the left and the right of the beam will be the same so I input the same like this but we can check it so we can see it is the same and we can check the window span and next one is the light load so uh, we can check uh, we can input the middle span first for the bending moment and we can check left and right and uh, the length here will be uh, 8 uh, meter and we will keep uh, other the same because it, it is already already much uh, our case so we can check the deflection here we have the uh, short term deflection and the long term deflection and uh, if you look at this uh, formula you will see we use the result uh, from the provided re rebar here to compute for this value so the rebar here we are fight uh, we have fight the uh, deflection calculation here and i want to show you uh, one more point which is the uh, moment of energy here so we compute for the left middle span and the right uh, point of the beam and then we compute for the average value and we have two met method in order to find the average uh, value here we can follow the uh, aci uh, 318 or we can follow the ACI uh, 435 here okay so this is it for this video and I hope you guys enjoy it uh, and apply to your own project and you can play around with this Excel and if you have any question you can put it in the uh, comment section below and uh, if you guys want the detail uh, about uh, the beam deflection about the formula that I use in the Excel uh, to compute for short term and long term deflection you can read uh, these two uh, books so the first one is the ACI 318 and this is the 19 uh, SI version and the other one is the ACI manual and you can find the uh, deflection of the beam formula in this uh, manual so uh, basically everything that I use in the Excel I show you in this video is uh, taken from this uh, manual so please check it out so thank you guys so much for watching I'll see you guys in my next video